Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at a young lady who goes by the name of Blair. She's part of the Renee of Paris high fashion line and this is what she looks like. I have her in the color bronzed hazelnut, so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today we're looking at a young lady by the name of Blair. She's from Renee, uh, Renee of Paris's line, high fashion line, and she is a lace front and part mono. And she's gonna look really cute. And I've got her in the color bronze hazel, hazelnut. <laughs> hey, hazel's a lot of nut, right? Yeah, bronze hazelnut. Here are all of her numbers and we're gonna have to get her out of the box and put her on a mannequin okay okay this is what she looks like on the mannequin look at this beautiful beautiful color bronze hazelnut it when when i hear the word hazelnut i think of raquel welch's and or hair you line hair you wear lines of color that are very very coppery and bronzy or not bronze, but yeah, very coppery, um, kind of a, a deep amber. Now this is a little more ashy. She's like a medium brown with ashy blonde hair uh, uh, highlights throughout all of her. And um, look at that length. Oh, I can't wait to try her on. And you know she feels so low density. It's going to be beautiful. I can tell. So let's take a look at her, her cap construction, okay? So we've got a lace front and a mono part, and it looks like that mono part is straight down the middle, straight down the middle, temple to temple, and then straight down the middle to the crown. We've got closed ear tabs with metal stays and hair fibers coming out from underneath them, and they look to be even highlighted, so that's really good too. Highlighted edges along the lace front, beautiful we've got yes there's the other the other ear tab with the fibers coming out from underneath we've got an extended closed nape covered with velveteen fabric as well as buckle adjusters on the right and left and then lots of rows of hair curtains going across the sides and back and this is going to feel i can tell just sometimes when you feel these these caps you can tell they're going to be comfortable and this is truly going to be i i'll, I'll let you know okay i can't wait to get her on so before i put her on let's what i before i put her on what i have on right now is pax by renee of paris she is another cutie pie from their high fashion line and so you can, I'll put the tag up here. You can go see her when you want. Now let's try on Blair. Okay, this is Blair. Up at my hairline, make sure my widow's peak is covered. So she's got that part right in the middle. And look at this beautiful length. So pretty, so pretty. Now, what I like to do is a tip that I got from Patty's Pearls. Thank you, Patty. This is for you. But when I have a lace front on, I like to take and pull the hairs back, but I take my fingertips and I press down on the lace and kind of get it embedded into my skin a little bit. Just press it so that we can um, get it to dissolve or blend in with my skin a little bit better and it helps it from uh, prevents it from moving quite as easily so we don't have to use anything to begin with to secure it in place so let's take a look oh my goodness i'll do a spin for you let's get her so that she looks nice and organized right she's got to wake up all righty so here she is Blair from the high fashion line of Renea Paris in the color bronze hazelnut. So you can see she's a long young lady. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. The cap feels very nice. Low density. Low density feels so good. And of course, you know, if you really wanted to, you could cut bangs or a wispy bang into this. That would look really cute, a little wispy bang. And we have room, this much room up on top between my fingers. That's all the lace that's a go, it's all between here. And it goes all the way back to right here. So look how far back that, that part goes. So we have some room in here, a little bit of fudging, fudge room, fudge, 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 I can fudge a little bit. Yeah, room to move. We can, we can do it a little bit more off center. I think I'll try it this way. Just see a little bit. But with the lace front, you know, you could even take it further off to the side, right at the lace front, and then angle the part back into the center and take it down the center um, mono part. And that, you know, in some ways that might look a little bit more natural because sometimes we, if we think back to when we had hair, um, it wouldn't really behave the way we wanted to half the time anyway. So we'd part it over here and as part of it would just go another direction so you'd have a part on this side and a part in the back on that side and it would just it would be kind of goofy and that could even mimic it or um you know make it just look that much more real so okay we can take and pull up the hairline just take a nice long piece back and get it to stay in place with a clip or a barrette or whatever, you can clip it into the cap itself. It, in fact, I would recommend that. It keeps the um, keeps the the clip from falling out. And oh my gosh, look at that! That is that's really cute, isn't it? Just a simple, long, low density wig. This is very pretty. And how do you like this bronze hazelnut? Look at that. It does look like it's a little bit warm. It has gold in it. So it might be like it's a medium ash brown with gold blended and uh, highlights in, in there. I, it, just, it just looks that way to me. Oh, and of course, we've got all kinds of possibilities with high um, half up, half down, just getting a bump on top, doing a pony. And of course, you know, if you want to just pull back into a pony, look at that is such a small little pony. The density, I'm not kidding you. Realistic, realistic, yep. Yeah. So you could use pretty, pretty barrettes and clips to do whatever you want. And then of course, we could do pigtails, always. These little pigtails, <laughs> just pull, pull them forward. And that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Well, I could see this young lady being a great addition to anyone's wig wardrobe, especially if you like um, low density, uh, natural looking and feeling hair. I do like having this clip up here and taking that off my hair hairline, um, but I think, the possibility of wispy bangs is even wonderful. But anyway, this young lady, and you know what, you can, you can go ahead and braid. Take even this piece up here and braid it into the rest of this, just to see how you could, I would leave, I would leave tendrils And you can imagine how that's going to look if you take it all the way down and put a tiny, tiny rubber band on this on the end. And see how that looks? What a neat idea. Very, very cute. Let's go ahead and take this, this beautiful color outside and see what it looks like outdoors. Okay, this is 
Blair from Renee of Paris outdoors. And let's get in some sunlight. You can see the beautiful range of colors in highlights and lowlights. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. A little bit in the sunlight, a little bit in the shade. So pretty. You can see all that color. She is a really pretty wig. Low density. Oh, she feels wonderful. Okay. She is a lace front mono part. She's available only in an average size. Of course, these fibers are synthetic, but they are not heat friendly. And of course, her crown is 17.7 inches. The nape is 11.8, so almost 12 inches. The fringe right here in front is 9.8 inches, so almost 10 inches. And then she weighs 5.8 ounces. So she's a little bit heavier, and that's because of the length of the fibers. And that will add some additional weight to this young lady. But she does not feel heavy when I wear her. Okay, well, great. I'm so glad that I was able to show you Blair. I think Renee of Paris is not one of those brands that I see a lot of online. And so I was really curious and she is part of the Adirans brand and a sister company to Noriko and Amor. So I thought I'd take a look at some of their wigs. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I have enjoyed showing her to you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great week and we will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. All right, bye-bye.